we've been right. Yeah. To hell with it. Let's get crazy tonight. Oh my goodness, your hair is two different colors. You're out of your mind. What's going on? <laughs> What's your name? Beverly. And you've got a Monroe piercing? Holy shit, you're a fucking wild woman. I'm here. Is this, is this your husband behind you? Yeah. Uh, all right, well, I'm just checking because I don't want to get him to kick my ass because I might have to talk to you later. It's your daughter. Okay, so what, what's the deal with you and your man? You got a husband? Where's he at? Yeah. I ain't seeing that motherfucker here. I'm just saying. I said it's my daughter's Well, I, I, I understood. You said it's your daughter's husband. What I heard was that's not the dude that I'm with. So I'm available. <laughs> Shit might get wild tonight. I'm saying, let's get some drinks to this table right now. You guys give all yourselves a round of applause. Come in here and support my family. Are we having fun tonight? Yeah. Hell yeah. This is a blast. Uh, what you guys are seeing tonight, uh, obviously these are student showcases. Uh, so a lot of these guys, it's the first stand-up showcase they have ever performed in. How awesome is that? class was level one. I also taught a level one class. I've got some, some phenomenal students here. Uh, this is uh, part of a great stand-up program. We've got three different levels, uh, all taught by members of 100 Proof Comedy, uh, which is a great show that's here every Monday night here at Comedy Sports. I recommend you come check us out. We were named Chicago's best venue for stand-up by the Chicago Reader last year, and now we're trying to bring that forward uh, and, and, and bring up the next generation of stand-up comics. Uh, so we're glad you're here. Uh, on all these tables is information about how uh, if you guys are seeing people in here, you're like, man, that seems like so much fun. I got some shit to say myself. Uh, well, you know, uh, shoot me an email. Uh, we'd love to have you in the class. I'd love to run into that stool again. Yeah, I, I tried to act like uh, you didn't see it, but I know you did, so why fucking hide? Are you guys ready to get this next class going? Yeah. Hell yeah! These are some phenomenal people. It's been my honor to teach them throughout this entire class term. Now let's go ahead and get it started. Ladies and gentlemen, give a big round of applause for Raymond Ruiz! How's everyone doing tonight? Woo! Yeah. 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 There is a lot of beverage out here. Damn. Anyways, uh, I got something I want to share with everyone here. This is a true story. And uh, it goes way back. I don't know if everyone, you know, when you were young, you got your ass kicked, get pushed around, bullied. It's always this big bad guy wants to beat your ass. You're like, oh man, here he comes. That happened to me. That happened to me. So uh, I was uh, I was arguing with this guy. This guy was huge. And I don't know what the fuck I was thinking about, but I remember talking. All I kept seeing was his chest. And he kept looking down. He goes, I will kick your ass. Like, shut up. I had a couple of drinks. No problem. So I went to walk away, so I said, fuck you. I went like this, and all I heard was, <laughs> and he kicked me in my ass. Literally. You know what that feels like? Everybody kicked in the ass? That's not nice. I looked down, I said, damn, that's my hemorrhoid. <laughs> I looked at this guy, I said, oh my god. He goes, yeah. I was like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then I looked like Robo Couch. I was like, oh my god, my ass hurts. And he's coming at me. I'm trying to get away from this guy. I said, no, God, he's coming for me. So I gotta get tough, get tough, Raymond. So I swung at him, bam, hit him. And I'm loosening up. I look like this fighting. Remember, got kicked in the ass. So everything, everything hurts. Your body just locks. Just goes into lock mode. You ever see the guy when he goes, boom, hits him in the head, you hear tick, 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 tick. That's all I heard. And I felt it going off, tick, 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 tick. Boom, right there. The son of a bitch. So I hit him and die. Got him in the eye, get arrested. My little ass gets arrested. This guy's 6'2". Guy, I don't know what the fuck he did, but he was big. So I uh, go to the front of the judge. I remember this guy kicked me in my ass. In the eye of my ass. My ass was still somewhere in the street over there. I rushed it. So I go in front of the judge. I'm walking in like this. And Mr. Ruiz? Yes. Uh, you know what you're being charged for? Yeah. And I look at this guy. He's got an eye patch and all this shit. The judge looks at it, he goes, Raymond, says here, um, you got hit in the eye. He goes, your eye looks fine. I said, no, your honor, not this eye, this eye. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, that's exactly what I heard in the courtroom, right there. <laughs> and I see everybody in the back, and the judge goes, this is not a joking matter. There's my ass, your honor. So everyone's laughing. The judge looks at me, and he's 
slams down the goblin, and he goes, I need a minute. We're going to have a recess here. And I see him smirking. He's going this. <laughs> Fold it in. I see the lady, the clerk in the back. Did you hear about his ass? <laughs> so I'm standing there. I say, yeah, go ahead. Laugh it off with my ass. The guy that hit me in the eye, he goes, I fucked you up pretty good. I said, yeah, you did, you big bastard. <laughs> so they said, hey, don't talk to each other. Hey, you started, we're going to do this again? I said, no, I'm just kidding, man. My ass still hurts. <laughs> so the judge tells me, he's out there for reasons. I can hear everybody in the back giggling. Did you hear about his ass? He, he's really serious. I go, this guy thinks I'm joking. I'm really feeling this. They talk. He goes, you got to take a seat, Mr. Ruiz. <laughs> really? You want me to, didn't you just hear what happened to me? This guy kicked me in my ass. I'm not sitting down. He goes, sit down. So this is me trying to sit down. And everybody and their mother's looking at you like, oh my God, this fucking hurts. Oh, Mr. Ruiz, stand up. Are you, oh my God, you guys are starting to fuck with me now. So I go in front of the judge again. And he's going like this. He goes, Mr. Ruiz. And I'm looking at this guy. This guy looks like he's having a fucking seizure. He's holding it in the neck. I go, hey, Your Honor, let it go. Let it go. And he's bawling. Ah. I've never had this in front of me. Neither have I, you fucking asshole. <laughs> I've never had it done to me either, but this guy's boot still says timber in my ass. Oh, yeah. So the judge looks at me. He says, well, I'm only going to do one thing here. I said, yeah, what's that? <laughs> I said, oh, my God, go ahead and let it go. I hope this saves my ass from not going to jail. I don't want to meet this fucker again. So the judge tells me, Mr. Ruiz, what do you think I should do right now? Noticing that he has a patch in his eye, and there's nothing wrong with your eye. I said, apparently you didn't hear me, Your Honor. I was talking about this eye right here, and this guy's boot is still marked in my ass. You're going to tell me nothing happened to him? The guy's 6'3". It's fucking huge. I'm a little fat ass. I didn't do nothing to him. The judge looks at me and goes, very well. I'm going to give you a work, I mean, uh, I fucked this up, okay? Uh, I'm going to give you community service. Like, what the fuck is community service? I got to walk? You know, this guy doesn't get it. I'm going to walk around clean shit with my ass ripped. It's not going to work. So I, just, I said, is there anything else you can give me, Your Honor? He goes, yeah, I can give you three months in jail. I'll fucking go walk. <laughs> I'm sorry. So this is me, though, here I'm over the bridge on Halston, and I'm going like this. And you see people laughing, hey, how's your ass? Your mother, your mother. <laughs> I'm walking around pushing the broom. The guy tells me, hey, you're a little too slow with that broom, buddy. You got to clean all this. And I felt like kicking him in the ass. I said, man, it's too much trouble. This guy's going to do it, do it again. I don't need this. So that was the one incident I had. So then I was at a club here. And I remember that I seen this guy tell the other guy. He goes, hey, man, the only thing standing between me and you is there an opportunity in space, motherfucker. And bah, 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 he put it on. I said, damn, that was good. So I said, that's a couple of drinks. I tried that same shit. Ooh, bumped into the guy, say, hey, man, you're going standing between me and you. It's airspace and opportunity. And whoosh, I was holding on to both his ass. Please, God, don't let this motherfucker hit me again. <laughs> My chest is fell. I said, please, Lord. And I'm holding on. I said, please, somebody come and stop this guy. Stop this guy. <laughs> anyway, thank you very much, everybody.